You're super pretty. I really like you. Ha! Are you really obedient? You didn't foolishly give in everything, right? I think this is disrespectful to women. What do you mean by everything? I really want to find a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I really want a girlfriend. I'm a good boy. <laughs> Hi everyone! <laughs> she forgot. Hi everyone! It's because I'm married! Yeah. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and today we are back with another dun dun mukbang! Woo woo woo! woo. And uh, we're trying all the new Taco Bell Burger King items because we're back in good old America. And they Burger King has spicy McNuggets now that Tiffany just ate like three of upstairs. And she said, I can't stop eating it. It tastes like Asian Burger King. And what? I was like, okay, these are some high praise from Tiffany who literally despises most fast food places. So I can't wait to try it. That's that here. And then we have a bunch of like the Burger King spicy chicken burgers, like uh, some sort of fish burger. And then from, they brought it back. You know what I was thinking? I have the whole conspiracy this is not even a conspiracy my speculation was taco bell their licensing contract ended with doritos and they couldn't do the doritos locos nachos whatever right this is just called the volcano taco now mm. and the cool ranch is gone too and this is just nacho taco mm. so they like are doing their own non-dorito thing is the vibe i get I mean, this could be public information. All I could do was just Google it, but I refuse. Okay, that's I'm in conspiracy land. Then we have like some of their burritos, the chicken fries from Burger King. But you know what? At the end of the day, you are what you eat. And I will tell you, at the end of the night, sometimes, sometimes I got a little stink on me. Sometimes, not all the time, sometimes when it's been a really busy day, I got a little bit of stink, okay? <laughs> and I am so particular about my body wash. If you guys know me, I have a thing for body wash, especially recently, I've been on the TikTok side. Have you gotten the TikToks of the girls that are like, if you wanna smell good all day long, it actually starts in the shower with your body wash. It's not just your perfume, it's body wash. That's step number one. So I'm really picky about my body wash scent, but also I really care about how clean I feel after I use it. I don't want something that feels sticky or ick afterwards. I want a nice soft lather with lots of bubbles. And I want to feel like I've just been stripped of all the sweat, bacteria, and just like the sour vibes from this guy over here that like <laughs> rub off on me. And I'm like, oh my God, that's so responsible. I can't do this. And I really, really like Native for that. First of all, they have a huge scent range. Recently, I've been using um the cucumber and mint one. Okay, because that's- Native like, the deodorant. Yes, I use Native deodorant. You guys know I've been using Native deodorant since like, oh my gosh, I think- like Beverly Hills apartment days. Oh my OG. gosh, that's like five, six, uh, probably longer ago. That's insane. But um, no, they have body wash. I use the cucumber and mint body wash. It's like my summer scent. But sometimes on date nights, I do like a sweet peach and nectar. Yes. And then I pair it with a little scent. Oh, freaking chef's kisses. It's like radiating soft girl energy. But if I shower right before bed, I'm telling you, I got a system down, okay? Then I reach for the lavender and rose body wash. And here's the thing, I'm training him like Pavlov's dog. So when we go to sleep, I smell like lavender and rose body wash. But I think once I'm not with you, like if I go away or something, <sighs> you'll be like, oh my God, I can't fall asleep because you can't smell my lavender and Rose body wash from Nada. I'm telling you. Mm. What do you guys think? <laughs> Am I doing? <laughs> I'm being serious. Mm. Okay, fine, whatever. I also use their eucalyptus and mint deodorant, and it pairs really well with my cucumber body wash. Okay, it smells like I'm like a walking, fresh, clean girl aura. I just like how it lathers when you put it on. And Native uses clean, effective, and simple ingredients that are easy to understand. They're naturally derived ingredients that help cleanse your skin, phthalate free and dye free, vegan and cruelty free. Made with plant-based cleaners and with citric acid to keep your skin's pH balance happy and healthy. So use my link and code SU2 to get 20% off your first purchase at Native. This offer is available site-wide, but only for a limited time, so stock up and save. That's the link in the description and use code SU2 to get 20% off your first purchase. Thank you, Native, for sponsoring today's video, and let's get into it. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. So what should we do? Should we do the chicken nuggets? Yes, chicken she's been like... Okay, I'm gonna do it without the dip. Mm. Oh my god, it tastes like Asia. This is delicious. It's kind of sweet. It's actually spicy. It doesn't have that American level spice, you know what I'm talking about? It's actually good. It's actually pretty good. It's so good. Oh my god. With the honey mustard? Mmm. It's sweet. No? This one it's I like didn't sweet use. and spicy chicken, like mm -hmm. from Korea. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, that's good. But the mm. spice is good. You know mm. how sometimes they have like the spicy nuggets at these American chains and they're not spicy and you're like, what the f*** is this? Mm -hmm. Yes, all the time. Yeah. That's it, pretty good. It's actually really good. Can you go, sir? Thank you. So okay. the red seems a little darker. More red. And it seems a little bit more that, that kind of like hard shell. Holy f***. It's kind of spicy. Really? This is spicier than the nugget. Whoa. Whoa. What's going on right now? Oh my god, it's actually spicy. Is it not actually spicy? Am I crazy? Am I losing my freaking marbles? Or is it kind of spicy? Wait. It's so good though. It's kicking in. Uh-huh. Oh, this is so good. Oh, oh. It's good though. It's this delicious. is good. But the Doritos licensing, this is so much better. Wait, this is pretty spicy. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is good. Mm-hmm. It's actually a volcano because the Doritos one is not spicy. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh my god. I'm not huge into it, but this is good. Really? You're not into it? No, no, no. The old one. Mm. Mm. I like the new one. Okay, I think you'll like this one, Dendan. Den. That one looks like a Big Mac. Ooh, that looks this yummy. one has like some sort of marinara sauce. Who wants to try a marinara one? Mm. It's giving like Italian. This one is giving fried chicken. This one is giving fried chicken too. But what wow. do you want, Dan? I'll get the Big Mac. Okay. Oh, get it. Which one do you want, honey? Doesn't matter. I gotta try this marinara one just because okay. it's marinara, and I love then marinara. I'll try this one. This looks okay. juicy, spicy, and the cheese looks perfect right there. Oh my god! You good? Mmm. -hmm. Mm. I'm not the biggest fan of Burger King burgers, though. Have you tried Burger King in Korea? Mm mm. Wait, did I? Yes, we did, guys. Oh, oops, sorry. <laughs> the first night? I wasn't there. You <laughs> wasn't there. You were there, then, then in the hotel room with everyone. Oh, we talking about in Korea. Korea. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's loser. Switzerland, huh? The loser. <laughs> nah, but the Burger King from Switzerland was so good. They have chicken wings. Oh. Chicken wings. The fact that I have not ventured into this part of the internet yet and stumbled onto this gold mine. I don't know what I was doing with my life. Do you think you're a good flirter, Dan Dan? Mm -mm. How do you flirt with people? I oh, don't. Yeah. You don't? Mm -mm. <laughs> so they just flirt with you. Now I'll just be like mentioning her, um, complimenting her um, look and um, personality. <laughs> now, but I, don't, I would say I'm not that good at flirting though. Do you have friends that are like good at flirting? Or do you think when There's you- There's one guy. Really? Because mm -hmm. I feel like no matter how good someone is at flirting, the minute that I'm watching a third party flirt, it's so cringe. Yes, dude. Like there's no way. Like when you're in the moment, it's so hot. It's so s You feel the tension. But as a third party watching, it's just, I don't know why. It doesn't matter how hot these two people are. It's just giving taksar, like chicken <laughs> skin goosebumps. I want to die yeah, from yeah. secondhand embarrassment. Mm -hmm. So today, we're gonna see how some of the richest men in the world flirt. How do you think they flirt? You think they just like throw dollar bills? Yes. You think so? Mm -hmm. We're gonna read Wang Sutong. Wang Sutong is back. And Chris Wu's text messages. Okay. <laughs> now it's getting interesting. Mm -hmm. Wait, Chris Wu, the guy that, you know. Oh yeah, that guy. Okay, that guy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be uh, crazy. Mm -hmm. I can already tell. I think, yeah. It's crazy that they're just like regular people, you know? Mm -hmm. You would think they talk different because, you know, they're yeah. billionaires. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And like, they're like the hottest dude. Mm -hmm. But they're just like, same? Yeah, just cringe. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I was curious at how Wang Sutong, if you guys don't know, I have a whole video on both of these men. Just one video. But why does it feel like I talk about Wang Zetong all the time? Yeah. I don't know. Two videos. I have two videos on Wang Zetong. One on Chris Wu, okay? But we're back with Wang Zetong, our best friend. His dad is worth $8 billion, and he is the only son and heir to the Wanda Group. You're like, what does that mean? They own AMC theaters, and that's only a small part of their business. They're like one of the richest people in China. Wang Zetong is often referred as the nation's husband, the national husband, because everyone wants to be his wife. So we're going to see how he flirts. <laughs> I've got their text messages. And you're gonna pull up your phone. I sent you a document. All right, and do you, it. do you wanna be Wang Sutong? You be the girl, you be the girl, and I'll be Wang Sutong. Okay. We're gonna no. do Chris Wu at the end, but he was like one of the biggest K-pop stars then transitioned into C-pop because he's actually Chinese, but he was making it in the Korean industry. Left EXO mm. to be back in China. I think this guy is worth like hundreds of millions of dollars. 
and he got exposed for basically like R wording minors. And he is in jail right now. He's sitting in jail, singing songs in jail. <laughs> Apparently he still writes music in jail. No. Uh huh. He be singing no for all the for all the gangsters that are like, <laughs> sing for me, bitch. He be singing like a little canary. But um, he had a whole saga because girls said he was really cringe, at, but he was like toothpick sized. Mm. But he'd be like, you like how big it is, and they'd be like, mm. Mm, I didn't know we were already doing it. That's crazy. <laughs> so his text messages are just as cringe, but I thought we should start with Wang Zutong. So let's start easy. This is what I like to call, who dare reject the richest man? The context of these text messages is Wang Zutong is trying to flirt with a girl named Sun Yi Ning. We're gonna call her- Sun Yi Ning. Yes, we're gonna call her Sunny, okay? So to give you context, the beginning of the text sounds so normal. They're arranging to meet each other at a hotel. Neither of them are like that flirty. The way that Wang Sutong talks is honestly kind of what I expected. It's like, I don't exactly know who's pursuing who. It doesn't seem like he's trying to put an effort to pursue her. He mm -hmm. seems really blunt, like, oh, I'm here. Where are you? Okay, let's meet at this time. Mm -hmm. He sounds nor He sounds cool even. Like the type of guy that could care less if the girl likes him because he's just so confident and he's got all the power, right? He talks to her like all these girls are just throwing themselves at him. Okay, and then they agree to meet, and she's telling him like they just woke up, blah, blah, blah. But uh, let's, I'll start. <clears throat> they agree to meet, and she's basically telling him that she just woke up and needs to get ready. And he just casually responds, all right? So Dan Dan is the sunny. Uh-huh, can you use your, what's your sunny voice? Mm -hmm. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> is that necessary? We're just grabbing food. Um, I'm still in bed. I'm not up yet. Aren't you hungry? I just woke up. I'm not hungry yet. <laughs> okay, you go get ready. Come to the place we went to yesterday when you're done. Okay, so far, nonchalant, right? I need to show you the comparison. And then, we don't know what the f*** happened in the next two days, but two days later, the energies have shifted, the tides have turned, the power has mm. shifted. The two are talking about not being able to sleep, and Sunny texts, I'm finished. I can't sleep. I woke up at five. What do we do? You got melatonin? <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't respond. She doesn't respond. So he hits her with a You're not gonna reply to me again for someone that likes you cares for you and worries for you You're just gonna ignore me. I Went to go watch a live stream. Then why didn't you tell me? <laughs> At 7 14 a.m. Wong texts Sunny again. What are you doing? <laughs> Washing hair? Let me see Okay the average shower it takes like what eight to ten minutes but for billionaire Wong this is way too long because just eight minutes later eight minutes to the T he demands updates <laughs> no reply <laughs> I'm gonna go eat <laughs> crazy <laughs> frowny emoji no that's yeah. worse than normal person. Bro, this is so bad, okay? Anyway. So this is the first time that he whips out this emoji in this chat and it just smells the whole thing smells so de desperate. He thought the frowny face would make her be like, oh my god, my sad billionaire boyfriend. He thought that the frowny face emoji would warrant an immediate reaction out of Sunny. Maybe she knew that she was crossing the line by rejecting him. So 11 minutes of Wang Zutong staring at his plate of caviar in <laughs> silence, not being able to eat a single thing because of heartbreak. She finally texts him back. Go. What? She said, Go eat then. Oh, go eat. Damn. Yeah. He said, I'm gonna go eat. And she said, go. <laughs> <laughs> who? Wait, who? But why is he saying that though? Nobody asked. Yeah, nobody asked. Like he's trying to play like, you know, baby's so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> baby's so hungry. Oh my God, you're so gross. <laughs> ah. Okay, like who is the billionaire now? Okay, so for 33 minutes, Wang Sutong is at a loss for words. He can't even utter the words like <laughs> go. What the do you mean go? I don't think he knows how to come back from something like this. Or maybe he really is just eating. So at 8.06 a.m. he texts Sunny. Let me see you. What is there to see? <laughs> question mark? Question mark? Wait, wait, they're both texting each other question mark. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she said, what is there to see? Once the song's like, question mark? Question, question mark? mark. And then she said, question mark. Yes. And he goes, what's wrong with wanting to see you? So disobedient. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Don't lie, have you ever said that to a girl? So disobedient. So disobedient, so naughty, so bad. 
I said naughty. Ah! Ew! In what context would you need to call someone well, naughty? What that, that girl I was talking to, she was being naughty, so I was saying. What naughty. was she doing? What? What was she doing? Like she was flirting, but in in a very weird way. Okay. Not weird, but like. So you're like you're so naughty. Yeah. Wow. And then we need to do a video of reading your text message. Dude, yeah. I haven't been texting a girl since. Yeah, let's not talk about it. Since like two hours ago, guys. <laughs> no, I'm not like that, mm -hmm. for real. So obedient is like kind of an odd term in China, but they use it as an endearing way. It's like saying so naughty, right? It's yeah. a man trying it's to like tell. Mm. Yeah, it's like trying to be all dominant and like I'm a man. Usually it's not used in like a super toxic setting. It's more like banter, right? But sometimes it can come off as cringe. I think it's just, you gotta know your audience. <clears throat> so Sunny responds, hit it Sunny. There are so many girls that you like. Are you able to look at all of them? Question mark. I don't understand. I haven't been sleeping well these days. Every night, I think of you. You should be careful when it thunders. Okay, side note, in China, there is a oh. saying that if you lie, you're gonna get struck by thunder when it rains, okay? So then he responds. I used to like many girls in the past, but now, I only like you. <laughs> You're so poisonous. I. You're so poisonous. You're so poisonous. <laughs> Dude. Wow. I took a lot to tell you how I feel, and this is what you do? Me too. I took a lot to tell you how I feel, and this is what you do? Emoji of sadness. And then she sends an emoji of, I can't find evidence of you being a human. So at this point, any normal guy would know that Sunny is not into Wang Zetong. She is genuinely uninterested, but Wang Zetong is confident that he continues to talk to her. You don't know how to care for someone. I didn't even rest these few days properly. Sunny? Yeah, I'll be Sunny, I'll be Sunny. I didn't even rest these few days properly. If you need some... <laughs> what the f is that? If you need someone to care for you, then we can just go extinct. You're at 165 pounds and still need somebody to care for you? Dang. Perhaps you're not sleeping well, but I don't see you eating less. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Insert hot dog meme of Wang Zetong at the game. <laughs> wow, she really doesn't like him. Bro, she's like... Literally ripping in to him. Yeah, yeah, okay. I just want to see you and you can't satisfy that? Now everything I eat is tasteless! I'm laughing. I was entertaining guests. The food would have tasted better if you were next to me. You're so greasy. <laughs> I'm warning you. Bro, okay, so the sticker that Wang Zetong chooses, like an emoji, like the meme, is actually a Wang Zetong. <laughs> <laughs> so he's sending her his own memes, okay? <laughs> and he says, How is it greasy? I'm like this because I like you. Oh. Ugh, I'm laughing. Okay, so despite being mocked by Sunny, Wang Zetong is still very persistent with her. So perhaps this confidence, I don't know, comes from money, or the fact that a girl finally sees through it and it makes it hard for him to accept, I don't know. Or maybe his love language is being spanked and called greasy instead of daddy. Like, who the f knows? But he keeps going. I want to see you. Just let me feel better, will you? I've been down for so many days. I'm eating. <laughs> Later, I have to strain. I have to wake up at 6 a.m. tomorrow for a photo shoot. So she's telling him no, but he's not getting the hint. Oh, you can go stream, but can't even take two seconds to send me a picture? Okay, I guess live streaming is just so much more important than me. She doesn't respond. And at 10.07 p.m., he texts her. You like to stream so much, don't you? Will you rely on live streaming in the future? Oh. <laughs> A full eight minutes pass with no response. This is eight minutes of Wang Zetong sitting in utter mental anguish. Eat the rich or whatever, but how can you not feel this man's pain? You know what I mean? Eight f***ing minutes. So he texts her again. Good. You're just so into live streaming, aren't you? I'm so good to you and this is how you treat me? I want to make you better and you're going to treat me like an idiot? Like this guy is so hot and cold. He's losing it. He's like, he's like oh, I guess live streaming is more important than me. Hmm. Oh. And then eight minutes later, and I treat you so nice and this is what you do? Like I'm an idiot? Like I'm a dumbass? And then the longest 30 minutes of his life passed by. I'm talking second by second. One of the richest men in China. Just think about this when you're having a shit day. Is sitting there fuming at the idea that his text messages go unanswered. So at 10.45 p.m. he texts again. I've waited three hours for your reply. 
<laughs> Suddenly he's business CEO. Suddenly it's threatening. I've waited three hours, you lousy employee. Okay, he thought, he thought surely this will get the message across. Two more hours <laughs> pass. No response. Mm. 12.23 a.m. Sunny shows proof of life and she responds. Question mark? <laughs> After all of this. Now, can you imagine opening your chat log and the richest man in China is having a mental breakdown in here? Like, it's like just all the bubbles on one side. And you just go, question mark? <laughs> you can go straight to live streaming but can't take two seconds to reply to me? Go to bed. Go to sleep early. You're, cra you're crazy. Go to sleep early? Ten minutes pass. Wang Sutong hasn't known a second of rest since meeting this woman, okay? <laughs> Sunny doesn't respond to his hysterical text message, so he texts her again. You like live streaming that much? I feel like he repeated that like yeah. five times. You just have to go back to your live stream, don't you? You don't even have enough time to reply. Whatever. If you like live streaming so much, just go. Literally, isn't that what she's doing? <laughs> like, she's gone, okay? But then uh, 12 minutes later, she responds. Uh, da 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 da. <laughs> so, cool boy Wang Sutong resurrects himself and he responds. Whatever, you just rest early. Sunny doesn't respond <laughs> all morning. And then finally, at 5.33 p.m., probably right after his 9 to 5 that his daddy got him at Wanda Group, Billionaire boy Wong opens up his WeChat and texts. Are you done with work? Yeah. Where are you? Sunny sends her location with a live video. What? Send me an address. Huh? I'm already in the car, ready to go home. You're in Hangzhou? Yes. So for context, he lives in Shanghai and she lives in a place called Hangzhou. Mm -hmm. The distance between the two cities is about an hour by plane or three and a half hours by car. He's literally willing to leave his city and go to a different province for this girl. He's like kind of a simp, all right? Yeah, but that, isn't that what the, ba like billionaires do? I'm gonna hop, hop on my jet and fly to your city for a breakfast. He and drove. I'll... He drove, huh? He drove for three and a half. Daddy, daddy took the jet. He drove three hours? I think daddy He's took the jet. He's a billionaire though. All right, so uh, Sunny text. Oh, <laughs> hurry up and tell me <laughs> no, what- No, no, <laughs> actually says hurry up, I'm not telling him. Oh, I was like, what the? <laughs> no. Imagine him like, hurry up. She said, hurry up and tell me what's going on. What do you mean? I'm on the way home. I came to Hangzhou to see you. What do you think is going on? What else could I be doing? OMG, you're ambushing me. Look, I get it, Christian Grey or whatever, but he's like kind of creeping her out and it's pretty clear. Initially, I wanted to come on Thursday, but after what you did to me yesterday, I thought about it for a whole night. And now I'm here. Where's your house? Xiaoshan. They call for about five, six minutes-ish. Sunny sends him a location and Sunny texts him. After I talk to you, I'm going to have food with my friends. I come to Hangzhou and you're going to have food with your friends? Then what's the point of me coming to Hangzhou? <laughs> I've thought about it and I don't want to be with you. <laughs> Bro, Bill, could you tell that to a billionaire? <laughs> Bro, that's pretty cool though, right? Yeah, that is. Like, that's respect. Yeah, mm -hmm. she's like... I, I don't know. Yeah, she's... I mean, she... But if, if the person is crazy like that, like... I can't. Like Wang Zhidong? Yeah. I mean, that's actually crazy. Yeah. yeah. It's a little unhinged, yeah. Yeah, like, he's like a little crazy, yeah. Yeah, it's a little creepy. The fact wow. that he drove all that way too is very mm -hmm. creepy. So, she said, I genuinely appreciate you liking me, but I can't be with you. Let's just be friends. The term safety and sense of security doesn't exist in your love life. Those are the two I care about most. Oh. <laughs> we can be friends, okay? Your friend came from Shanghai to Hangzhou to meet you and you won't even eat with them? So the conversation continues with them just talking about their viewpoints on relationships and Wang seems to understand that they would stay friends for now and agreed to meet. But before they meet, Sunny decides, wait, actually, never mind, I don't want to meet you. <laughs> so what does Wang do? He texts her. I'm staying here. Okay. <laughs> Let me know when you're almost home. I'll see you for a bit and I need to go eat food too. Let's not. I've made up my mind. You have a lot of options. Let's not meet. Question mark, question mark? We agreed to meet just now. Don't worry, I want us to be together. We already agreed to stay friends. Didn't we already agree to be friends? I have to meet a few friends today. I don't have time. They came from very far. <laughs> <laughs> 
Damn. You came three and a half hours from Shanghai. You so, drove three and a half hours. I, th- I think she did that on purpose. Yeah, yeah, like at this point, I kind of feel bad for the guy because he's getting rejected. It hurts. But get day, the hint, right? right? Like, yes. yes. Like, just f*** off. Yes. Like, how many more hints do you need? Do like, you need her to scream at you? I guess he truly... Okay, so everybody knows Wang Sutong. He's an intelligent guy. Mm-hmm. Like, he's really smart. Business savvy. He did really well t- in school. Like, he's very quick, right? Uh-huh. I think he genuinely just never been rejected like this before. So he really he doesn't know how to mm-hmm. take it. Like, it hurts his ego. Or like, something. he's not dumb. Mm-hmm. He just yeah. really never been in this place. Have you felt rejected, honey? Me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, every day. <laughs> <laughs> By who? She's brutal. She is. I'm a fan. <laughs> he texts. Yeah, I'm just meeting you for a f- few minutes. Bro, I drove three hours. I said we're meeting as friends. The meeting is my bottom line. I drove three hours here. Do you want me to hate you entirely? Let me repeat this. Meeting you is my bottom line. Okay, Dude. this guy sounds like a f-ing monster. Like, <laughs> well, threatening her. Type. Yes. <laughs> like, not only did no one ask him to come to Hangzhou, but he isn't respecting her boundaries. Dude. So he calls her and they proceed to talk for about a minute. And from their conversation, they decide to meet. And he texts, I'm coming 20 minutes. Okay. 20 minutes later, he <laughs> he texts, I'm so f-ing on time. I just want to give myself a pat on the back. <laughs> <laughs> so it seems like the two meet in a hotel lobby for about 15 minutes. And then Wong texts her back. Having my emotions controlled by someone is annoying, but it can also be very sweet. Next time, don't use the phrase, we'll see. It doesn't make people feel good. Okay. You care too much about the few hundred people in your live stream. It's unnecessary. It's not like they give two million. It's not just few hundred, okay? I know! Okay. Bro, he just like... Why is the yo? Wow. He's just making it worse. Yeah, he's like really thinks his money, like... Like, like, how I, dare you not like me and like your live stream viewers when I have all the money? Oh, this is something. Genuinely liking someone is rare. I'm grateful enough that people like me. As long as they don't yell at me, I think it's fine. In but, this day and age, how many are there that are genuine? Gifting you millions is only genuine. Like, they're saying if they're not gifting you millions, he's saying it's not genuine. What the f- Someone don't, doesn't have millions, come on. Yeah. He said, In the future, there will be so, so many genuine fans like that and not those CP fans. Okay, don't get it twisted. Hold on a second. So in China, CP actually means like... Couple? Couple. So they usually use that phrase in terms of like couples that they ship together. Usually like celebrity mm-hmm. couples. Mm-hmm. And for context, right? Sunny is a live stream influencer and doing influencer. And in the past, she was an on-screen couple with another girl. And people love them together. Fans ship them. So it was kind of a question of, is Sunny bisexual? Is she lesbian? No one really knew for sure. Like, some people even doubted that they were into each other because they thought it was like a publicity stunt. It was like a whole thing. So these people, they just wanted to see her with this girl or another girl. But there were what Wang Sutong is calling our career fans. They like you for you. And not because you're in a relationship and it's like hyped up. Bro, yeah. this guy is on, on something. So it's like a whole other thing. Now, Sunny doesn't respond to this text message just because it's kind of rude and overstepping the line. But he texts her again as if, as if this whole conversation and meeting at the hotel didn't exist. He writes, What are you doing? Why aren't you replying to me? <laughs> yeah, bro. I'm about to sleep. When did you end your stream? Around 1 a.m. Why don't you come and have fun with us? I have stuff to do. I don't want to drink. What stuff? Isn't it just streaming? <laughs> okay, the text, isn't it just streaming? Bro, this is like her career and he's disrespecting her job and her priorities. Bro. Like, he's got daddy's money, but Sunny doesn't. She's trying to make a name for herself, right? So, Sunny is very, very, as expected, very offended by this and she texts. Question mark. If you're drunk, clear your head. Don't come and disgust me. Question mark. Who's yeah. disgusting who? Then what stuff do you have? Sunny understandably doesn't text him back, and then he texts her the next day at 3 p.m. and says, Are you awake yet? Sends a cute little gif. No reply again. And then she say, I'm awake. What time did you sleep? Six. Then why didn't you reply to my messages at 4 a.m.? <laughs> Stop finding conflicts. Question mark? Yeah. I'm just asking. Come eat with me. You can bring some of your friends. Don't worry. I won't say anything weird. 
No, I haven't woken up yet. I can't get up. I already told you, it's just friends. I came from Shanghai to see you and you don't, you don't have fun with me? And we can't even have food? Where do you want to go to have fun? So they talk on the phone for about 13 minutes and then he sends her a location to a place called Boom Shake, which is one of like the most popular hip hop nightclubs in the area. It's like, I'm talking, everyone in there is probably wearing Supreme. Like that type of mm. vibe, right? And Sunny is like, BSK? I'm not going to go drink. I don't want to drink. I hardly get a day off. I told you we're meeting at Boom Shake in the afternoon already. So to give you context, it seems like Wang Sutong already said Boom Shake and she agreed over the phone. And now he's texting her, it's Boom Shake, and she's acting like, no, I don't want to go. So understandably, he's a little bit annoyed because she keeps agreeing to do things and then backing out, but he starts going crazy later, okay? So Sunny texts him. I don't want to go. I don't want to drink. Mainly because I haven't had any rest recently. Can we talk about this later? You can ask me again around 11 p.m., okay? You're playing me, huh? Fine. Sunny's full name. You haven't changed much. <laughs> so, yeah, okay, it gets really bad. He comes more and more angry because she doesn't want to get a boom shake. And he texts, Let's delete each other and wait. I'll let everyone know that you forced me to the edge. All you have is looks and no morals. Sunny doesn't respond to him Bro. for an entire month. A month. <laughs> a month. And then Wang texts her again to see if she had blocked him. And he sends her a duck holding a knife emoji. And the caption is, I'm going to kill you. He sends it thinking that she blocked him, right? Yeah. But the message goes, delivered. Oh. <gasps> Bro. Wait, what kind of like you st like you know a girl hates you, right? Yeah. A month later, you I'm already look like a loser. Like, for why like, why are you going back? Yeah. Like, and that's no self respect. Yeah, just like, oh my god, and he's back at it again. But why does the girl still like talk? Keep talking to him though. Like why? Yeah, that's he, true. She can just ignore him. Like, okay, so <clears throat> also I want to say Wang Zetong is very. He is well very opinion, oh. opinionated on social media. Mm -hmm. His favorite thing to do is making oh, yeah. fun of every celebrities, every influencer. That's why he's called like a entertainment industries like um, judge or something. All he does is judging everyone. Mm. He can literally go on there and make a say some like stunning as a bitch and she thinks mm. she's this and this and this. Mm -hmm. and, and people believe it or not, like it's gonna open the discussion. Like it's, it's gonna start like online drama. Poor girl. So she can't really ignore. I think she tried her best to tell her him no a million times. Without being like, f you. Yeah, like, f you. I and like, know. really triggering him. Maybe, yeah, I think know? she's very respectful, no? Like, she's so nicely tell him it's not because of this. It's just, you're, we're not the same. Yeah, and the messages are so clear, like. It was so nice. Yeah, it's so nice, but it's also very clear, like, hey, I'm not really trying to be your friend or your girlfriend, really. Yeah. It's like question mark like what's your, what are you saying bro like i think the one question mark is like no. the ultimate level of like what is wrong with you you know like multiple question marks is like wait what one question mark is like i don't know but you need to get your shit together i don't mm. know what you're talking about but like what uh. so anyways the message goes through and Wang Tong is surprised what's going on you didn't block me <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> you already blocked me on Douyin. Why don't you block me on here? Why should I block you? I didn't do anything. Well, unblock me from Douyin. Okay. <laughs> Why aren't you sleeping yet? She doesn't respond. <laughs> <laughs> Next day at 4.23 p.m. Did you block me from seeing your WeChat stories? Unblock me. No response. An hour later. <sighs> do you not know how to reply to texts? <laughs> this is three hours later she texts. Busy. Why did you not go to bed when it was so late yesterday? Okay, so at this point, this guy is so confusing. On one hand, he's <gasps> constantly threatening at her, yelling at her, and saying how live streaming isn't a real job, and how she has all looks, no morals. And then now, a month later, he comes crawling back like, why don't you sleep more? Sleep <laughs> like, did you drink Yo. enough water today? Did you eat three meals today? Did you sleep eight hours? Like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? And then to make matters worse, during the one month that they weren't talking, you know what he did? What? Because you know how Sunny is an influencer. There were some like rumors about her and some discourse about her. He went and liked all the hateful comments. <laughs> <laughs> In Weibo, like Twitter, you can see when they like it. So he's sitting there, like reposting all these hateful, <laughs> and then he's like, 
<laughs> Baby, why didn't you sleep last night? <laughs> like, what the f No wonder she blocked him. Yes! Like, it's like, what are you talking about at this point? I mean, I feel like... Bro, <sighs> so cringe. Like, how is he a billionaire? That's... Daddy. Daddy, yeah. Oh, daddy, right, daddy, right. daddy be a billionaire. Yeah, it's um ridiculous. I don't <laughs> even know what to say at this point. <laughs> yeah, I will say that Sunny has her own scandals. Some people think that she was baiting. Other people, her main scandal though was that early in her career she would take money from brands <laughs> for brand deals and then never do the deal. <laughs> <laughs> and then she would just block the brands. But she would do this to like mom and pop shops. Which is why people were really upset. It's not yeah. like she was doing it to like Apple. Yeah, so uh, him liking a ton of all of these things brought a lot of attention to the rumors. And Sunny had to change her WeChat picture to like a black square. It was really bad. She got a lot of shit coming in, which again, I can see how it's his fault, but also her fault because she did the deed. Anyway, she texted. Didn't you already like the scandal on me? I already saw it. It's nothing really. I'll face it. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I know my mistakes. Didn't I teach you this? What can you teach me? Didn't I teach you to face it? You have to face it sooner or later. At the time, I was just mad. I was in the heat of the moment when I liked those posts. It's your birthday, isn't it? Not yet. It's not today. Oh. What's your profile picture, Black? It's normal. What happened? So it's like typical that celebrities will change it black when some goes down mm. <laughs> yeah okay uh nothing much sometimes the haters can mess up your emotion i have a heart of glass i don't blame anyone else i miss you <laughs> <laughs> so sunny sends a really confused picture of like almost a throwing up person and she writes dot 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 what does dot 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 mean you don't want me to miss you Okay, so this whole I miss you comes out of nowhere. Sunny changes the subject. Have you eaten? Not yet. I just came out of a meeting. You're not gonna let me see you on your birthday? What do you mean? It's fine if you don't want to meet me, then I won't force it. We can talk about it when you decide to stop being a lesbian. Uh, she said... A lesbian wouldn't stop being a lesbian unless they meet their soulmate. But soulmates? I don't believe it. Even if I don't be Honey, what's a, up with your reading? Can you even if I don't be a lesbian now, after marriage, I will still be a lesbian secretly. So there is no time limit to being a lesbian. <laughs> what is going on? It's a really confusing message. I think the translation is a bit weird. But uh okay. So she just said a lesbian won't stop being a lesbian unless they meet their soulmate. But soulmates, I don't really believe in it. Even if I don't be a lesbian now, after marriage, I'll still be a lesbian secretly. So there's no time limit to being a lesbian. <laughs> but Wang Zutong doesn't make sense because he hits it with a I'm not your fing soulmate! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! So then, so then, I'm laughing because how painfully dumb oh my he god. is. So then, Sunny hits him with a. I'm guessing you're against the constitution of marriage. It's been four years. Wait, I don't get it. Okay, so Wang Sutong is referring to the fact that he's been hitting on her for the past four years, whether on <sighs> social media, in her comments, <sighs> donating money on her live streams, or texting her. Yeah. Bruh. Oh yeah, he, he said. still didn't take the hint. It's been four years, and you still don't believe it? This is fate, baby. <laughs> okay. And then she goes, You're not going to sleep? Is supporting the concept of marriage important? <laughs> What's important is when two people are together, they're happy. Mm -hmm. I will make you the happiest woman. I'm happy enough. If I get more, I'll probably be sick. <laughs> <laughs> cute emoji, cute emoji. Okay, so a few days later, Wang Zetong um, <laughs> gets weird again. He randomly sends Sunny a picture of a random girl wearing pigtails in a school uniform. And Sunny is weirded out and sends him... Question mark? <laughs> what are you laughing at? I would love if you wore this. Oh, bro! bro. This it's is like a... the most craziest chat log ever. Yeah, it's a something. So Sunny doesn't respond because it's giving a little bit like um predator. It's giving weird, right? But if you notice, the guy the guy doesn't take a hint. So the next day at 3 p.m., he texts. I'll go find you so we can hang out. I miss you. Again, all of this 
is out of nowhere and Sunny is baffled. Everyone is entitled to their emotions, but constantly pushing them is just a lot, right? So then she texts, What are you saying? Question mark, question mark. I'm saying I wanna hang out with you. I'm saying I miss you. Now I can't even come hang out with you. Uh and so for the next seven to eight hours, Sunny does not reply and Wang Sutong pokes her, basically. He pets her, which is like a WeChat feature, like a poke poke, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then Sunny texts. Question Sunny texts. Question mark. Miss you. I'm live streaming. I know. Don't come in. I saw you coming in just now. <laughs> Why not? Why are you here? Didn't you say that it's very low? Low? I don't want you to live stream anymore. I have no choice. I can take care of you, stupid. <laughs> okay, again, what the f*** are you saying right now? I mean, of course he can, right? Until next week when he moves on with another influencer. What is wrong with this oh guy? Ay, ay, ay. So then she texts. No. Emoji. Happy Children's Day, baby. Okay, wait, side note, side note, this is not weird. In China, some boyfriends celebrate Children's Day with their girlfriends as a sign of like, you can always be a child when you're with me. Or like baby. Like baby, baby, yeah. And then that day at 10 p.m., because she doesn't respond, he, he texts, just think about it. The next day at 2.15 p.m., he texts, Why were you emo again yesterday? And now comes the infamous punchline. Wang Sutong texts her with no response. She hasn't responded yet, okay? Babe. <laughs> Baby. What is it? Lao Bao. No. Bao Bei, Bao Bei. Bao Bei. Bao Bei. I went to get an IV drip today. What IV drip? Drips of love. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you mean for real? Yes! Sunny text an emoji that's just like, bye. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, <laughs> I texted you and you didn't respond. <laughs> So their conversation continues for a so while. So that, that IV drip got it went viral. So everyone's like, IV drip. 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 Um, so he started it. Yeah, he started it. Oh, uh, yeah. So their conversation, it, it takes a weird turn. So Sunny confirms a relationship with another female influencer later on. And Wang Sutong remembered that Sunny had scammed, pe scammed people of money from years ago. So he starts drama by commenting on her live stream like, did you forget what you did? Did you forget what you did? He starts basically just like stirring up drama, starting rumors, and like bringing up her past. And it all ends up with Sunny exposing these conversations with Wang Sutong. Mm -hmm. And for mo months, Ivy Drip of Love becomes a meme. <laughs> and everyone is making fun of Wang Sutong. They called him a simp. And it got to the point where Wang Sutong posted on Weibo. I'm not a fucking simp. <laughs> I'm so mad. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what the <laughs> f*** just happened? It's a shit show. It was just the biggest shit show ever. But this just goes to show. Bro. You can reject a billionaire and they will lose their mind. <laughs> they will become so unhinged that it's scary. Like, honestly, I hate to be that person to call it out, but if he wasn't a billionaire, this would be very scary. I mean, Game it's already over. scary, but it would be, I don't know why. That's like how society works, right? Because, wow, people made fun of this to hell and back. And now we must move on to Chris Wu. Wang Sutong might be richer, he might be a celebrity in his own right, but Chris Wu was different. He was a certified, first of all, he's a certified <coughs> criminal, but he was good looking and rich. So it's not just his money that had girls that interested in him, like he had power in multiple arenas. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I could say, if I just looked at Wang Sutong and had no idea that he was a billionaire, that I would say that guy could probably model. Probably not, okay? So let's get into Chris Wu's text messages. A little bit of background behind this. Her name is Zhang Dan San. Zhang Da, Zhang, Zhang, Zhang Da Shan, San. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna call her San. Um, San was a member of a girl group called SNH48, which is like mm -hmm. a Chinese version of AKB48. And Chris starts messaging her, okay? <laughs> ha 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, imagine starting a message like that. Imagine you open someone's message and it's just ha <laughs> 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 Oh, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. I gotta replace Wang Zetong's image from my mind to Chris Wu right now. Yeah, Chris Wu. I'm okay, still yeah. thinking okay, Wang Zetong. Okay, okay, get ready? Okay, Chris Wu, Chris Wu. Okay, Chris Wu. I saw you a long time ago. I wanted to get to know you. You're pretty. I like it. Online? Question mark? <laughs> <laughs> You're super pretty. I really like you. <laughs> Are you really 
Obedient? Okay, here we go again with the f***ing word obedient, okay? <laughs> it's got a lot of submissive. It's like being like, are you a good girl? That's yeah, basically yeah, yeah, yeah. what it's saying. Yeah, like, basically. are you a good... Imagine f***ing meeting someone... No, imagine only seeing someone online. You've never even met them in person. You've never even held a conversation with them. Mm -hmm. And you text them, are you a good boy? Like, it works, though, if you're... Like, you guys are flirting, right? right it's kind of like... like in the middle. I think it's yeah. like into the conversation it works. Oh. But like, nice to meet you. Oh, oh, oh. Are you a good girl? Oh, he's... I think he's just that cocky. Mm. He's like, yeah. he knows that he's hot So he's like, meets a girl first line. Are you a good girl? Bro. <laughs> Bro, I would literally, I don't care who you are, you could be Barack Obama. <laughs> Barack it, Obama? Because he's smooth, you know what I mean? And it still wouldn't work. It would just be like, what are you saying, sir? Right. Call the Secret Service. You need help. What does obedient even mean? You know, like in terms of a relationship, I guess. Again, what the f are you talking about a relationship? You guys haven't even met in person. He basically saw her pictures online, knew about her, and was like, you're really pretty. Are you a good girl? Okay? So then she responds, That is so hard to answer. It could mean a lot of things. So are you obedient? <sighs> Can you come to Shanghai to meet me? Either today or tomorrow? Bro, he's like worse than Wang Zetong. Wang yeah. Zetong goes to the girl. He like, like, demands oh. the girl to come to yeah. meet him. And oh, yeah. So quickly, too. Today, tomorrow, like, you have no schedule anymore because I'm your schedule, baby. Uh, okay? He's even more, like, cocky, I think. Oh, yeah. So then, and then also the flip of the question where she's like, what does that even mean? Are you obedient? He's like, disregard. Anyway, can you come meet me? Dude. Okay, so then she texts. Question mark. Question mark. They love to text question mark. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna start texting you question mark. <laughs> question mark. <laughs> also, why are they all in Hangzhou in Shanghai, okay? So she says, You can come to see me in Hangzhou. Usually I never go to Hangzhou. It's not far for you to come. It's only a three hour drive. Oh. But what is going oh. on? I know, then you go. I mean, but to him, it's like three hours is not a long drive to see the Chris Wu. <laughs> Me, I'm such a big deal. Three hours? Are you kidding? So then she texts. But you want to get to know me. Oh. Ha 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 ha. Yes, I want to. But how am I going to go to Hangzhou? I don't have any projects in Hangzhou. I want to find a girlfriend. I really want to find a girlfriend. But I can't go to Hangzhou! I don't have projects in Hangzhou! I really want to find a girlfriend! <laughs> oh my god... <laughs> the logic in that sentence is flawless. <laughs> For those reasons, you must come to me. <laughs> For those reasons, meet me at this motel! I really want a girlfriend! I'm a good boy! <laughs> <laughs> so she just repeats herself. It's a three hour drive. If you think it's unnecessary and don't want to meet me, it's fine then. It's just so sudden. But after you meet me, you won't regret it. <laughs> I'll be in Shanghai on the 23rd to record Rap of China. <laughs> if, we get to if we get together, I'll be real serious. And we'll be together for real, for real, properly. <laughs> yeah, as opposed to what, okay? Okay, he says. I'm almost 30. I just want to find someone I can love, you know? I liked you after I saw your Weibo. Just like that. You fit all my criteria. Okay, Yikes. does he really think from his close-minded male perspective that this is romantic? It's like, it's giving, I choose you, you should be honored. I feel like he's thinking, I'm Chris Wu, rap of China judge. Who cares about your, your criteria in dating? You mark all my criteria. Your looks, of course. So then she texts. Is my charisma that big? <laughs> yes. Very big. <laughs> Clearly the only big thing in the chat room. <laughs> so then Chris texts. I want to see you. I'll be on set on the 23rd. Can you come to Shanghai so we can meet? Uh, this logic is so weird. You're the one that wants to see me. Is logic really important? I really can't come. My identity makes it very inconvenient. Don't you understand that? I'm Chris Wu. <laughs> but it seems like you're very busy. When would you have time to date? <laughs> I do! And it's dating very seriously. We can go everywhere together. You're suddenly expressing all that? But we've never even met. <laughs> Online, buddy. <laughs> 
sorry. So let's hurry up and meet sad face emoji. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what is going on? So I want to ask, what do you think dating properly is like? It means we're gonna get married. Duh. <laughs> This is like a five-year-old, okay? A five-year-old. So obviously she's confused and she looks confused. And so he says, I'm just a little dum-dum, like more cutesy, ha. <laughs> I'm different from what I look, you know? People that know me, they all think I'm like a kid, ha. Very childlike. Bruh. Ah, uh, bruh. Okay. He's literally going for it. I'm a good boy. Oh, okay, bro. And then also like nothing gets a full-grown oh. adult woman going like a having a child as a partner okay isn't that the one thing all women complain about online everywhere like i don't want a kid i want a partner like having a baby like having to be your partner's mother that's exactly what every girl i personally know wants deep down mm -hmm. absolutely chris Wu. so son is very straightforward and i love her for this and she just responds honestly i think you're a fake person are you always this straightforward and he says i just don't want to lose you then when did you want to get to know me? Probably the first time I saw your Weibo, like around last month. Since then, I've wanted to get to know you. I'm curious, which post? And he sends her a picture of her post, and she's like up against a wall. And he writes, This one, ha <laughs> ha so pretty. Isn't this type of style pretty common? Ha ha ha. But you're different. <laughs> you're different. How can everyone have a, have a figure like you? And so pale. I love it so much. Oh yeah, so once Zone has always said he like- No, Chris like, Wu. Oh, oh, Chris Wu, Chris Wu. Chris Wu always said he like, like pale, innocent. Basically he, like that's his, like, you know. Pale, like, but, pale but innocent. But she said that, he said that to her on the first day. Yeah. They didn't meet. He just saw a photo and he's been saying all this. Holy. Yeah, this is very creepy. Like celebrity rich famous aside, this is so freaking creepy. So she responds. That's so common. Ha ha ha. But of course, I also like fair girls with good figures. Isn't that you? But you're a good girl. I think you're a good girl. I like good girls. If you get into a relationship and get married, you know, I want you to be a clean girl. Okay, so at this point, if I didn't know his crimes, I wouldn't even believe these are his text messages. I would think like some middle schooler tried to fabricate these chat logs and release them onto the internet because I don't even feel like he's having a conversation with her. Like there was so much disconnect in yes. all of these. Like she'd be asking a genuine question and then he'd be like, ha 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 ha, let's get married. Yeah, dude, he's like literally saying, I, all want, over. I want you, I want yes. you, I want you. Come to me, come yeah. to me, come to me. I'm just a little boy. Come to me. But not about her. Yeah. Her. yeah like it's like not, not even a. It's so bizarre this conversation. I like today. you because you're pre your 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 picture pretty, Ugh. pretty pretty. Come to me. And then he goes. I feel like you haven't dated much. And she responds. Yeah, because I wasn't allowed to. Exactly. <laughs> so you two, since the day you were born. <laughs> Are you question mark? So he's asking if she's a virgin, and then she's being like, are you, right? Ha, no, I'm talking about you. Overall, I do look forward to dating. So she's evading the question. Were you in a relationship for long? You didn't foolishly give in everything, right? AKA, are you a virgin? Like so you didn't like give mm -hmm. it all. Do yeah, so she sends him a question mark to which he responds. I mean, nothing happened between you two, right? So from his criminal case and previous dating records, right, we know that he really has a thing for virgins. And so she says, Your question is so weird. It's because I like you. I'm worried that other people are scamming you. Oh yeah, because he would never scam her, right? Mm. Yeah. Also, wow. I hate when people phrase uh, losing your V-card as giving away everything. What did I give away? I'm still incredibly pure. I am married and I am the essence of innocence and purity and you cannot convince me otherwise, okay? Anyways, San agrees and she texts him. I think this is disrespectful to women. What do you mean by everything? Nothing, nothing. Let's just jump past this topic, okay? Smiley face. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. Let's just not talk about this. <sighs> Yeah, and then, but she's like, we're talking about this. So she sends. I feel like your previous question doesn't make sense. But I'll stop asking. Sai, I didn't mean anything else. I'm just trying to say that a girl's first time is significant, so don't give it away easily. If I put it this way, do you understand better? Then I'll ask you something too. Don't get mad, okay? Is a guy's first time not important then? A guy's first time is definitely not as important as a girl's. Bro. How could a guy even have a first time? Are you dumb? 
Then I like obedient guys too. Apparently, guys don't have a first time, so that makes sense. All of you guys out there watching this, y'all are f***ing virgins. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Because you can't have a first time if you have a wee wee. You're just forever never did it, okay? <laughs> For guys, it's more important to have skills. If we meet someone we want to appreciate, then we will become good boys. Or else, no guy is a good boy. The more skilled, the more talented, the less good boy. Unless it's true love. Guys are like this. Wait, I don't get it. What the f is he saying? Bro, he's saying it doesn't matter how many times he f***s around, okay? Oh, 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 he's saying like, oh yeah, yeah, virgin or not, it doesn't matter yeah. is what he's saying. Wow. Then did you foolishly give you, give in your all? Da, 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 whatever, let's not talk about this. I don't even know <laughs> what how- What a sore I, loser. Yeah. I don't even know how I offended you. Maybe I'm just stubborn, but it's not that serious. Okay, sorry about that. Ha 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 ha. I should have asked, okay? I apologize. <sighs> Yikes, this is so bad. Are you getting secondhand embarrassment in it? A little bit. Yeah, there's other text messages from Chris Wu, but it's all the same thing. He's just basically keeps asking, are you a good girl? There's a conversation with the girl that we called Gina, okay? And at one point they were like dating or she thought they were dating even though he wasn't dating her exclusively, but she thought he was. And <laughs> he called her my little Miss Pe Peachy. And then she goes, haha, what if you dump me? And then he goes, how could I ever dump my little peachy? Mm. Emoji, emoji. And then almost immediately after, he's like, be a good girl. But now he's in jail, singing them uh. tunes, singing about good girls. I hope he's in prison and people be like, are you a good boy? <laughs> Come here, good boy. Be 20 push ups, are you a good boy? Come here, good boy, I drop my soap, good boy. Uh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Did you imagine him text like this? No, I thought it would be more like calm and just a few words and yeah, you know, yeah, like a nice guy, right? Like, like but instead, immediately, yeah. are you a good girl? Yeah. Are you a virgin? <laughs> See, it's too late for me now because I've already said too much online. But I think there is a coolness to people being mysterious, you know, and not showing everything online. It's too late for me. But if anyone <laughs> else is just starting, you know what I mean? Don't be don't be doing these texts. <laughs> like keep it cool, keep it casual, be like Yeah, then then that's you. Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. Don't be asking them if they're naughty or not or yeah. No, 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 I don't ask that. <laughs> that's it for today's video. I feel like after reading these text messages, I gotta go scrub every inch of my body <laughs> and I wanna cleanse my brain with native. I literally want to Take my brain out and wash it with Native because this was what's wrong with these people. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to check out Native. Link to the description and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.